everybody and welcome back if this is your first time tuning in my name is Chris Stewart and welcome to the channel I do a lot of fishing here along the Gulf Coast that's what we're doing today I'm actually doing this outro or intro excuse me uh, day before I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow so I'm get prepared tonight wake up early and we're gonna get after some fish I think I'm gonna go try to catch some more sheep set I'm not gonna use fiddlers this time though I'm gonna use shrimp so we're gonna do like little ratio, see which one works better. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, and a big shout out to Shredalish. These guys are sick. Check that out right there. My girlfriend got me this hat for Christmas and it is awesome. So if you guys are interested in hats like this, I'll put their link down in the description below and uh, you can check them out. So let's get to some fishing. You. Today I'm going to start out using the Carnage 3 paired up with the Spin Fisher 6 4500 uh, barrel swivel, 12 pound Yozuri disappearing pink, a number 2 owner hook and 2 split shots and I'm using live shrimp today. I'm going to try to use live shrimp today instead of, uh, instead of fillers, we're going to switch it up a little bit. Try to do like a ratio, see which uh, one works better. My guess is going to be fiddlers, but brought my cart today, so I had to haul everything around. I could bring an ice chest, don't have to move around or go anywhere. I did forget my tackle box, though, so I always forget something. There's a good possibility it catch a speck, a red, black drum, sheep's head. Kind of hoping I get a mixture today. Hopefully we can catch something with these shrimp. Gorgeous day. A little windy. I wish it wasn't as windy. I got something. I just pulled the hook on something. Maybe I didn't poke him. Gosh almighty. They do like shrimp. Maybe, that poke. Maybe he thought the, the shrimp poked him and he'll eat another one. Oh. Dang, they file it up. Something just had it. I'm on it today. Only got two dozen. All right, come on, we gotta catch him. We're gonna battle until we do. Third time's a charm. Yep, third time's a charm. Third time is a charm, baby. Nice. Oh, this is risky. Why do I always do this? <clears throat> nice. Got a big long net today. Phew. First one on the shrimp. Oh, barely hooked in that. Just enough to. Be still. It probably don't help that I keep missing. All right, you're out. All right, let's see how big you are. I got a, some markers drawn out on my ice chest. That's one. In Alabama, they do have to be 12 inches to the fork. FL does not mean full length, it means fort length. So from the nose right there, he's sitting at about 16. He's sitting at 17 to the fork. 
Ooh. And I brought the ice chest, so he is going in the cooler. I'm gonna take my knife. Bleed him, or take these pliers. All right, just landed number one on the shrimp. Normally don't use shrimp for sheep's head, but I made an exception today just to try to switch up the variety. But ended up still catching sheep's head, so. Let's get back down, number ones. It'd be cool if there was multiple down there. He just ate every single shrimp. No way. There was another one down there. Oh, it was a little guy, but the keeper. Let's go. Two on the same piling. That was the next drop. Nice. Literally the next drop. Ain't that something. Shoo. All right. Got it back. Woo, somehow. All right. Number two on the shrimp. That one's pretty. That's purple and gold there. All right. He is 15 to the fort. Probably a little more. Yep, 15 to the fort. All right. All right, get another shrimp out and get back down. Number three, or actually number two, sorry, wait. Yeah, number two. And there was two sitting on that pile. Maybe there's another one. I'm gonna drop back down the same one. Oh, light drum, light drum. There he is. Holy crap! Oh, oh, let me get my, walk him down here to my net. Nice black drum. <laughs> Phew. Barely fits in the net. Heck yeah, let's go. Oh, you hear him drumming? Oh, that's a gorgeous fish. Hoo wee. Nice. Not taking you home. I'll get a nice picture of you. All right. Nice, pretty black drum on the live shrimp. Woo. This guy gave me a fight. Look how pretty it. Look how big that big fantail is. Yeah, it's such a gorgeous fish. Big. Um, these are edible. These about this size are pretty good to eat, but I'm not gonna keep black drum. Keep cr uh, grunting. But yeah, I'm gonna get this big guy back. Alrighty. Ooh. 
All right, buddy, let's get you back. Ooh. All righty, thank you for the fight. Down to the depths, you. All right, landed the black drum. That's why I like using shrimp, because you can switch it up a little bit. I mean, black drum do eat feather crabs, but you know, these black drum really like feather crabs instead of redfish. Let go of it. Oh, he's munching. He's got it. Side the palsy on. Munched it in half. Munched it in half. All right, let's see if I can get him. Ah, big one. I prefer using these smaller shrimp too for a sheep's head. I mean, they'll eat a big shrimp, but yeah, he ate that one. Clean off. I just don't want him to swallow it. Yep, there he is. Let's see if he'll eat just the piece. Yep, he did. Oh. Is that another black drum or is that a just a really big sheep's head? If this is a sheep's head, it is a stud. Oh, holy crap, it is. Oh, get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Oh. This is a good one, good lord. He was hungry. Dang, this is a good one. Phew. Oh, get in there, get in there. Oh, he swam in it, let's go. Woo, yeah, that's a good one. Let's go. Look at that coloration in his face, all that purple and this yellow. Oh, that's a good one, let's go. Look at them teeth. Oh. Phew. Off the hook. Gorgeous fish. Oh, I love eating these things. Let's get a measurement. Just hold him up and get a look at him. You. All right. There's one right there. He is sitting at about probably 18 and a quarter to the foot right here. 18 that marker. Yeah, 18, so just a little, probably 18 and a quarter, 18 and a half, somewhere in that range. Sweet. You Look at them big fins. They use those fins to just stall in one spot and eat the barnacles off the bottom. All right. Or off the pilots off the bottom. Oh, another big one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a good in there. Oh, that's bigger than the last one. Way bigger. Way bigger. That's a 20 inch fish. Oh my God. He is huge. Don't come off, please. I can't even reel. <laughs> oh, he's putting some bend in this rod. Oh, that's a freaking monster. That is a freaking monster. Go, oh, look at that fish. He's not gonna put in this. Oh, 
He barely fits. Oh, holy crap. Got it. Whew. Easy peasy. Yeah, that one is gorgeous. I got the light. That is a big one. God almighty. Oh, turn flat for everybody. Look at that fish. Gorgeous fish. He's probably going to be about 20. Oh, that's a big one. Whew. Nice, gorgeous fish there. You. Right, let's get a measurement. Lay flat. All right. Okay, 18 is right here. So he's probably 19, 20, 20 to the fork. 20 inch fish. Woo. Nice. Look at that. Almost across the whole Yeti top. It's a 40 quart Yeti. All right. Let's get him on ice. Well, I accidentally put the camera on time lapse and it took a time lapse video and you see what happens, like always. But anyway, just landed this big nice sheep's head on the shrimp. Hook is out. I'll measure him and put him in the box. I my guess is gonna be 17. 16 is right there, 17, yep. Just about almost 18, almost 18 inch fish. This one's going freaking berserk. Alright. There he goes. Pulled the freaking hook right at the right at the end, man. Uh, well everybody it is dark now and I'm gonna wrap this up I think we finished out with five and a black drum so fun afternoon um, I'm gonna head back to the house because it's freezing thank you guys so much for watching um, new videos probably next week so uh, turn on post notifications so you get a notification when I post and we will see you in the next one